cuties welcome back to another video today I'm really excited to share some happy mail with you one I was expecting one I was not and yeah we're gonna hop right in okay guys so I got something from someone that I've actually been like in love with for a long time and it's Lynette from cheaply chic if you don't know her channel it's an amazing channel. I feel like when I think of her channel, I think of Dollar Tree hauls, lots of crafty goodness, an amazing craft room, and a really sweet person. She is so awesome, and she messaged me saying that she wanted to send me something, and I was like, well, of course, sure. And holy moly. So I peeked in here, guys, and that's all. I have not actually looked all the way, and I already am so excited. Okay, and in case you're wondering who the other person is, and you're just wondering, did you get my mail? It's Andrea Munaz. Moon, Munaz. Munez. Munaz. So, I'll open hers next. But, we're going to hop right in. So, uh, it looks like tons of fabric. Oh my gosh, and trims. Ugh. I can't even believe how much stuff's here, guys. I should be showing this to you in a better way. Yeah, you know what? I should. Okay, guys. I just thought this would be a much better view so you can actually see all of this goodness that she sent me. Oh my gosh, like I'm seriously, I'm in heaven right now. <gasps> There's more. Can you guys know I use a lot of lace and I know that she knows that too. She just started making junk journals, you guys, and if you are into them, please go check her out. And I know uh, she was like, you do not have to show this on camera. so. I know that a lot of times when I get Happy Meal, I'm always telling you guys, go check them out. Um, you know, I just, I want to spread the love. Okay, so she sent me a little card. I'll read that off camera. Um, but she is literally so talented. When I saw her first junk journal, I was like, this is not your first junk journal. But it was. Okay, she has su she has a craft room tour from a while ago, I think. And I'm, her craft room's amazing. Okay, so, wow. This is so pretty. I'm just so excited because lace is so expensive and I bet some of this is vintage because she uses a lot of vintage. Um, and I don't know, and it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's so pretty. And there's so much here. I cannot believe she gave this much to me. Like, people are so generous. I, uh, wow, this is so pretty. I, I'm so excited because a lot of times I feel like I I want to use lots of laces on my journals and I do but I'm always a bit nervous because I'm like oh man I'm almost out and it's just like I said it's so expensive to replenish and sure I can charge you know more for my journals if I wanted because they're gonna have lots of lace or something but I just don't really want to do that I want to be able to use it and not worry about it so I've actually found a few places uh, that you can get good, good prices on lace, lace by the pound. If that video is not up yet, it will be soon. And Lindsay Zanor, my friend who has a YouTube channel, um, she did a haul video showing uh, where she got her lace by the pound. Wow, these are just so pretty. I mean, they look vintage, so I don't know if they are, but oh my god, this is so cool. Sorry, I have to keep making sure my camera is uh, focusing. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is, a oh my gosh, someone just said that they wanted to get some kind of a bird junk journal and she said she specifically likes chickens. That's cool. Okay, I've just been eyeing this this whole time. This is so cool and retro. It reminds me of, you know, I guess the 70s. <gasps> this is awesome, like on a, cover is what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> seeing like I'm a psychic. Oh my gosh, cute. Panda. Look at that. That's so cute. <gasps> Apples. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Lynette, for sharing so much with me. Look at this. This is definitely vintage. 10 cents Rick Rack. I wonder if it has a date on here. It's just fun to know. Um, oh my gosh. I wonder if she made a video showing everything she sent me. I mean, I don't know if she did, but it would be cool to know if some of this is vintage or not. And if, like I said, if not, it's just so amazing. <gasps> I, this is one thing I don't have a lot of is handkerchiefs, chiefs, handkerchiefs. I don't ever know how to say that. 
Here are a bunch, and I don't have any. I real I have okay. I have a couple that I recently got in a giveaway. I won. Other than that, like I've been on the hunt, but I I just don't know. This one's so pretty. I did just order some um, doilies like this from Nita's Crafts. I always get her channel name mixed up. I forget. She does a lot of D stashes with tons of laces and trims and doilies. Um, and I bought like 12 or something like that. So, oh, okay, I'm not even going to take this off, but here you go. And then last one. She also sent, I think, some page, book pages here. Some really cool vellum. Really cool. Some music sheets. I use those a lot. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh, cool. Oh, I'm so thrilled. Thank you so, so much. I'm just gonna kind of push that to the side because I want to uh, open up the next package. And this is from Andrea Munoz. Maybe I said it right, Munoz. And I was not expecting this, but she sent me so much. You guys are seriously way too nice. Okay, I think I got everything out here. So Andrea sent me some gorgeous mail and I haven't opened this up yet, but I did open this. So it was packaged much prettier, but look at this. She made like a loaded, uh, like a flip book. And this is so pretty. She sent me washi samples. It's filled with stuff, you guys. She did such a gorgeous job. Oh my gosh. Okay, and so this is filled. So this, I haven't, whoopsies, taken this all out yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Tags, oh my gosh. Handmade tags, I'm pretty sure. No, wait. Oh my gosh, they're envelopes, cute. These are gorgeous. Um, it's filled, so I want to make sure I get everything out of here. Some really cool frames, and I've been really into a frame kick lately. Oh my gosh. Okay, journaling cards. Oh my gosh, these are garden journaling cards. Oh, I am going to be using these in my own garden journal. Oh my goodness. I know, I probably sound like I'm being so dramatic, but I'm really just, this seriously just makes my, my whole day. Okay, I think there was something in here. Yes, so this is filled with teeny little bunnies. Oh, this is, so this is like a spring themed pocket, uh, sorry, flip book. I was going to say pocket letter. Oh my gosh, all of these. Oh, you know what? I wanted these really bad and I didn't get them. I'm so excited. I'm going to get a lot of good use out of this. She wrote me a letter too, and she mentioned that she was like a new subscriber or she's new to my channel somewhat and that she's learned a lot from my channel and stuff. So gosh, thank you for taking the time out of your life to s send me all of this stuff. Like not even, you're not even just taking the time to like write me a letter. You sent me so much stuff. Okay. Planner stamps. I don't have these. That's really exciting. These might even be fun to use in a junk journal. Like, yeah. Rub on transfers. Very cool. Ooh. Um, this is a notepad. Very cute. Okay. Oh, she knows I like paper bags. Oh boy. Okay. There's stickers here. Very pretty. Very, very cute. But you guys, you know, you know it. I'm so excited about these paper bags. I can't get enough of these because I use them in every single journal. I put lots of these. And so this is exciting, but this right here, I have like three of these left and I stocked up and I was pretty sad that I was running out because these are my favorite. They feel nice. They feel really luxurious for paper and I just love them. So I'm so excited. She put a lot of thought into this happy mail and I am just thrilled. Thank you so much, Andrea and Lynette. You guys are awesome. You made my day. Thank you for sending this to show love. And I just want to, I want you guys to know that I appreciate it so much. And I love sharing this with you guys because I just want you to know the full picture. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate when someone sends something to me. I try really hard to reply 
and at least send a thank you card as quick as I can when someone sends me happy mail. Sometimes it takes me a couple weeks and I feel really terrible about that. I, I'm i sure I've missed a couple people, you know, just crossed my mind. I've been pretty good lately about writing it down because I want to take the time to like thank you and yeah. So thank you both and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.